kind of opening all yeah, the Yeah, I want to I want to ask you about the college question. Yeah. So I think the the political thing, uh, I think you may need to walk a little south of campus. I think yeah. the the story is a little different. Yeah. But uh, I do want to ask you about the college thing about uh, especially for computer science. Uh, yeah. Of course you have a different story. You, you follow the path in the sense of you know, you went to grad school, you went to undergrad, and, and you follow all the right yeah. steps, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. But uh, there's also the sense of, um, there, there, like, there's this notion that, it, like, if you don't go to college, you'll end up in, you know, like, in the streets or something. Mm. Uh, that, like, it's either, like, college good, yeah. if you don't go to college, you end up in a bad place. And I think you are also in, in, in an exception in, in a field like computer science, because it's one of the few fields that have uh, demand in the sense of, you know, even in engineering, right? Like everyone, students at least, everyone mm -hmm. in engineering, they think any engineering thing you do is good because you'll be famous, rich, and happy, mm -hmm. which is far from the truth because a lot of the engineering jobs, the demand, it just isn't there. Mm -hmm. Computer science is different because as you've seen, software and everything has been growing and there's a huge demand for it. Yeah. So I think you know, it, it's one, like one of the few fields where you can go and, and get an education and still you can get a, it's a good investment in the sense of if you want to think of college that way. Yeah. But there, there's also the notion of for computer science, which is, is, is a field that, um, like for the type of things that, let's say, like we've seen a lot of things that have come out, uh, like computer science companies and a lot of things. Yep. And a lot of those people do not attend college. Yep. Even, even, even a lot of them, you know, they, they say that uh, people I know and everything is that uh, they, they seem to be have a different perspective. Like there are some people who say that you become a good coder before college or after college, never during college. So it's like, true. Yep. so um, but from, you, from your perspective, I mean, yep. you, you've worked in industry, you worked at Google one, one year yep. and you've obviously you have a lot of experience, 20 years in this area. Like how much do you think that's that's true? Because it's definitely no black and white. It's yeah. not one or the other. Yeah. The, uh, so, the, like, how do how do you think of that yeah. question? Like, how do you what do, what do yeah. you? It's a complicated yeah. thing. But. Yeah. There is no causality that says if you go to college you will be successful. There is no causality that says if you do not go to college you will not be successful. Um, there is, I believe, there is some correlation between going to college and having a good backup option. I'm a big fan of doing something that I'm excited about, but always having a plan B in case that thing doesn't work out. Either I don't stay enthusiastic about it, or maybe it was just not the right time for it. Maybe I'm two, 10 years too early for it, right? So if you don't go to college or vocational school and you, know, you don't have any skills and you try a startup and it doesn't work, at some point of time, um, it's too late. Well, I don't want to say it's too late because I, you know, a lot of students take courses at, at advanced stages of their of their life. Uh, but like the the physical energy and mental energy and enthusiasm that you have in your twenties is not the same that you have in your thirties, and it's not the same that you have in your forties and fifties. It is different. After all, it's a human body, right? Uh, even though sometimes you know there are always exceptions to everything, right? Uh, so, uh, I think the, the 20s and maybe the early 30s are the most productive times of your life. Right? That's when you're kind of building the base for, for, for the rest of your life. And so, I, I'm a big fan of preparing always for a plan B option so that there's always a backup fallback option. You can say, okay, you know, that startup didn't work out and, you know, maybe I go work in a big company for a couple of years and then maybe I try a new startup. That's in the engineering world, right? Um, also, in like South of Green Street, you know, if you're talking of people in literature or you know, like Russian literature, or Slavic literature, um, I have friends who, who actually studied those. Uh, again, even there, where it's much harder to find jobs, you know, like it's not like you know, you have um, a gazillion faculty positions. There may be like right. a few finger full of faculty positions in the entire country in a particular area like, mm -hmm. like Russian literature. Uh, there too, I think it's important to think about you know, what is my Plan B option? Like, what is what's my fallback option? You know, yes, I want to be a faculty member, but if I don't, then what am I going to do? You know, I can't just sit at home. That's not you know, that's not valuable, right? So, so I think um, a a college degree or college education, uh, whether it's university or you know, whether it's a two year community college, really helps you build a foundation during the years that you can build that foundation, right? Uh, and then 
and then you can do whatever you want afterwards but you you're always you always have a fallback option right so you always have a, a cushion to fall back on um, sometimes you uh, hear of um, sport I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about sports because I love sports as well uh, a lot of you know like if you look at National Football League, National Football League, NFL. A lot of college players want to be NFL players. Not a surprise, big surprise. Right? Not all of them become NFL players. There's only like 30 odd NFL teams and every one of them has only a few tens of players who make it there. And so not every single college football player become, makes it into the NFL draft and they don't make it. And then if they didn't have the college degree, then they have no skills or they have very few skills to fall back on. Some of them do, some of them have other skills, right? But if you have a college degree, then you can go off and do something else, right? Maybe you have a college degree in just like kinesiology and you become a trainer for a sports team. That's great, fantastic, you have a fallback option, right? Uh, or you have a college degree, we had a basketball player in our 2005 in a basketball team who was I think an ECE, electrical engineering major. He used to come into class and you know, he, would, uh, he would take all the exams. Sometimes he would take conflict exams because they would have games. But you know, he was working towards his degree, right? So that was very, very important. Um, so it's the same thing, even if you're not a sports person, right? that you, you know, you you want to always want to have a fallback option, right? So, so I, I think that's very important for people to think about, um, whether you're a sports person or not, uh, whether you're engineering or or south of Green Street. Fallback options are very useful to think about.